Hello, everybody. Well, I was asked by my friend Black Cat about the diet of Suzumebachi. I mentioned on uh, Facebook that I was headed out to uh, try and uh, bait uh, Suzumebachi, the Asian giant hornet, in in order to uh, videotape them up close. And um, I, I mentioned in the, in the post that my father-in-law had suggested the old uh, Japanese way of doing things. I love this type of folk wisdom. Uh, which is to uh, you know catch a frog from the stream, dispatch it, and then uh, uh, hang its entrails uh, from a, a, a limb by the water, and that would draw in the suzumebachi. I didn't do that because I um I, I don't like killing things, and uh, but I did while I was out today. I did run across a big uh, 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 toad that had been run over on the road, and I tried to stake out the uh, spot. And some hornets did come, but not the giants. But anyway, question when I came back, I see a question uh, was posted. Um, about do the hornets do suzumebachi eat meat? And the answer to that question is, is I think is interesting. The answer, the, the short answer is no, they do not eat meat. Adult hornets uh, um, eat nectar. I actually have a hornet here. This is a suzumebachi right here. It's, it's very, it's very dried and withered. Let me see if I can hold it in such a way that you can see. Hold it in my hand here. And um, this is, this is, uh, from last year. Whoa! <laughs> it's okay. It's it's already pretty well damaged. It's uh, it's 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 shrunk since it's uh, been dried out. But you can get an idea of the size there. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's it, they're big. And the problem the the problem with uh, uh, consumption is that you know they, they consume things with their mouths, but then they digest them back here in their abdomen. There's a head, thorax, abdomen, three body segments, and an insect. And there's a, a wasps and um, uh, bees, which are of the same insect order, they have a, one of the characteristics of them is the very narrow waist. I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see it. Some bees you can see, wasps you can see the very narrow uh, waist, waist-like area. It's not really a waist, but it would be the area uh, between the thorax where the muscles are and the abdomen. It's abdomen. So if they can, if they eat something there and it goes back, it has to pass into the uh, abdomen. Uh, they don't. They only have that little narrow little waist. They can't pass anything solid. So the uh, adult hornets like this um, feed on nectar. So you'll see them wandering around and they'll get nectar from flowers and the like. So they can act as pollinators in that capacity. So why then would uh, you? I'm sure you're, you're wondering why then would a dead frog or any meat? I was using pork uh, to try and lure them in in lieu of killing a frog, why would that be of interest to a suzumibachi if they eat nectar? Well, while the adults are nectarians, <laughs> vegetarians, so to speak, the larvae are quite a different matter. The larvae need a lot of protein. They're growing fast. And uh, so to provide that protein, the, the protein, the adults scavenge for uh, meat. And they actually, so they, 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 when you see a scout, if you're out hiking in the woods and you see a Suzumi Bunchy scout moving around, you'll see them stop at the bushes and look around as wasps and hornets are wont to do. Um, they're looking for meat. They're looking for other insects. And they'll take on just about anything. They can be really um, terrible, I mean, terrifying killers. Um, take on praying mantis, mantis uh, beetles, um, uh, cicadas, anything they can find. And, uh, other, and, and including other uh, wasps, hornets, and bees. When they when they kill them, they bring the meat back and feed it to the larva, and the larva in their little their little nest, and the larva the you know that white pupa, you know they're not they're not pupa is not the right word they're white uh, little little look like little worms, and they have that black head, and they scrape they rasp it on the side rasp rasp rasp, and it's that sound that action that signals that they're hungry, and it drives the adults into a killing frenzy. I'm going off. Well, frenzy might be overdoing it, but going off and trying to find uh, find meat. So that's that's why the uh, dead frog works because it's protein that the uh, hornet can easily get and bring back to the nest. That's why it works. So what do the Japanese? Why would the Japanese draw in hornets? Well, the J Japanese in the past would uh, uh, consume the hornet larva. So they would use the what they would do is they would hang the frog. On a limb or some sort of meat, wait for the hornet to come in, and while it's you know busily chomping off a bit of the meat, they would attach a little bit of uh, uh, of uh, uh, paper, a little bit of glue on the back. So imagine the hornet is consuming away, sitting there, you know, chewing away a bit of meat, and you come up with it, and you've got the little bit of paper, glue with paper on the back, and you 
boop, tap it on the back. And if you know some bees, when they're busy in their, their thing, they, do, they don't really notice. And then the hornet flies away, and now it's got this piece of paper hanging off the back, which slows it down, and you can see it, and you can fall, and they run after it, and they follow the hornet right back to the nest. And once they've isolated the nest, they can then uh, uh, take the nest, you know, put on proper protective gear, take the nest, and uh, take the hornets back and pickle them, eat them raw like sashimi, uh, do a whole bunch of make medicines out, there, out of them, just about anything they want. That's how they did it in the old days here in Japan. That's why Suzume and Bachi are uh, uh, killers of, uh, of, of other animals, other insects, but themselves do not eat meat. So hope that's an answer, that long answer is helpful to you and anybody else that might be interested. Take care if you're out there in the woods. They're dangerous. Be careful. See ya.